Hey guys, it's Kambi, and yes, I'm on my computer, hence the awkward mu movement, but anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an event system using Rec Room Studio, and this is very similar process to really any Unity event um, system, but yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to use it and how to get your objects animated in Rec Room by using Rec Room Studio. So let's get started. All right, so right now I'm just in a blank room. I'm going to add a 3D object cube. All right, let's put some material on it so it's not uh, clear. I'll just create a material and call it cube. And we'll make it a red square. All right. Now I'll just drag that onto my cube, and there we go, we got a red square. All right, so next up, we are going to animate this red square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up and down and rotate it, and then set up an event system so that if I press a button, or one button, it'll start the animation, and if I press another button, it'll turn it off. So let's go to our animation. If you do not have this tab already, you could open it up under window and animation. Uh, I like to keep it uh, on my list of tabs because I use it. So now that I click on my cube, I'm going to hit create to begin animating the cube. All right, it's going to pop up this window and I want to create a new animation. I'll call this cube animation and hit save. All right, now I'm going to hit record, add property. I'm going to transform the position and I'm going to transform the rotation. Okay, and you could add uh, other types of animations as well, but I'm just going to keep it simple. So I have the record on and I have my marker set up. So after five, well, no, after two seconds, I'm going to make it go up. And you'll notice that new markers appeared because it's recording the movement. Then I am going to rotate it. And... I'm going to rotate it again and move it down. All right, so what a few, a couple things. Now, if I stop recording, you'll notice that if I click on the cube, there's this new animator, which is the animation that we just set up. So if I hit, if I hit spacebar, you could kind of see that animation. Is it pretty? No, but it's doing what I want it to do at the moment. We could drag that forward and all right. So now we have this sort of movement. <laughs> well, it's definitely animated, not the best, but that's okay. So right now we're animating the cube controller. Next up, we are going to go back into project and we are going to Click on this new cube animation animator that has been set up. So if I double click on it, it's going to bring up this animator with parameters and layers. Right here, this is the cube animation. This is the entry point. What we're going to want to do is right click, create state, empty. We're going to want this new state to set as the default state. So this is going to be when we start up Rec Room. We don't want anything to happen yet. We want to be able to press the button and let the cube get animated. So it's going to go into this empty state. Then we want to make a transition when we press the button going up to the cube animation. And when we press another button, we want it to go down to the nothing state. So let's go label these. So the up going up is turning it on. So let's go create a trigger 
and we'll call this on and going down we'll create another trigger and we'll hit off you'll see that there are other types of trigger triggers that you could set integer boolean float right now i'm just using a simple trigger and so now we have our basic trigger set up okay exit time do we want there to be an exit time do we want it to feed into the animation and then go back to the nothing no we don't want exit time because we just want it to be when we press the button so i'm going to take the exit time off for now um so let's go now that we set our on and off triggers let's go name these arrows so going up would be on going down would be off okay there we go so let's go back to our cube and what we haven't done is we have not yet created a rec room studio object out of this so let's create an empty parent and we're going to drag this down into our prefabs open the prefab and let's add the component so we'll add a box collider and we'll add the rec room studio script okay so now that we have that set up we're going to go down to unity events add an event this is going to be a string event and we're going to call it set trigger next up we are going to add a string and what do we want to add a string for we want to add a string for this cube and we're going to go animator set trigger all right so now that we have that set up let's go over to rec room studio and test this out so i'm going to hit play and show you guys how to set up the cb2 all right now we're in our room and there's our cube so let's open up our maker pen we're going to go to our settings and palette and let's hit or search for studio and we'll want to find the studio event sender string there we go pop that in next up we'll need a button so let's go search for a button all right and there's our button all right let's connect this up we're gonna want the event to be the set trigger and we're going to want the value to be on. They'll turn the animator on. What do we want to turn on? We want to turn on this cube. And we want it to turn on when we press the button. So if I press the button, there we go. The cube is animated. Now how do we turn the button off? Let's create another system. All right, so let's clone this event receiver and button as well. So we'll clone the button, we'll clone the event receiver, and we'll change this value to be off. Let's connect it up. So when we press this button, we want this object to be off. There we go. It's off. It's on. It's, it's off. It's on. It's off. So you kind of get the idea. Alright guys, so if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and I will create more videos if there's any suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see and tutorials on Rec Room Studio. Leave a comment. I'll try and get around to it. I do want to talk about events a little bit more as well as particle systems, so those are two videos down the road that I plan to do, but that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys later.